Hello, happy Tuesday. So apparently there are aliens in Miami. Adam Mall. I had no clue about this. I watched Mr. Gray's video and he's talking about it. I was like, why have I not heard anything about this? Probably because I might just been fucking away with the fairies. So literally I did a little bit of a Google and it took me to a Fox News story. Now I thought, this should be interesting because this is Fox News. So I had a look at the footage and I'm pretty sure I can work out what it fucking is straight away. <laughs> so d d just come and join me. I'll, I'll keep it short, I promise, because this is fucking brilliant. Right, so here's the foxy people. I'm not seeing the foxy, like... Or, I think that's what noise fox doing it makes. But these are just like Fox News people, Fox Local. Okay, so let's break this down. We have something to discuss here about an alien. <coughs> uh, potentially. First of all, their reactions, right? This is Fox News saying about an alien. <coughs> let's, let's just have a quick look at some of the stuff Fox News have said in the past, just drag this over for you a little bit, right? One of my favourite ones is they urged parents not to wear hoodies because they can, they can make murderers, <laughs> right? They decided that a swim class was evidence of Sharia law. And they just came to the conclusion <laughs> that they could prove that Santa and Jesus were both white. They told a black man he looked like a cocaine dealer. I have never seen a cocaine dealer that looks like this. Most of them in England are white, standing on a corner, and call you fucking Wayne. They said over and go, all right, Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. Anyone from the Midlands will know exactly what I'm fucking on about with that reference. Anyway. Sorry, Beardo, but it's by the by. Back to the report. Miami police clearing up some conspiracy theories yep. about a recent... Invasion. Invasion. <laughs> on New Year's Day, a large police presence was caught on video surrounding a mall in Miami. Perhaps you saw this. A video posted online claiming it was due to an alien sighting in that area. So apparently they've claimed it's a nine-foot alien in so Miami. First of all, why is he at the fucking mall? Most trainers wouldn't fit someone that height, so he's not shopping for his brand new fucking Air Jordans. Is it, do they have Air Do you reckon aliens would wear Air Jordans? I don't think he's doing that. I don't think they'd do track suits to fit him. It'd all be bespoke. I don't know if aliens like ice cream or pancakes or waffles. I'm a little bit confused as to why the aliens that have been so fucking good at hiding for so many years, one's just popped up in Miami. <laughs> and he's just having a stroll past a fucking mall. He's just like, I wasn't here earlier. I was on fucking Jupiter. No, there's all these flashy cars. What really happened? Look at that police presence. Yeah, Look at it. A a fight. Lot. Come on. Come uh, on. Police say a group of 50 teenagers started a fight after. There we go. So a group of 50 teenagers started a fight. Tell this police. Setting off fireworks, looting. The alien, in air quotes, alien. in the video, was really <laughs> just a tall person walking. I, I actually think not. it was just a person. Who said that? Another one. Who said that? That's a goddamn alien. <laughs> I love her. She's brilliant. According to police reports. Police did not say that alien. Right. So I watched this up until this point, and then I kind of figured out what it was. So the one thing about being on the street there is I'm pretty sure your street lights in America have some kind of um, filter over the top. Police lights, police car lights, headlights, torches, they all have a filter over the top. Now, scientifically speaking, when we talk about film lighting, if we want to light something in a certain way and then film it from a distance, we can make it look very fucking big by the way the reflection interacts with it of that light. It has, if the light has some kind of reflector or some ability to reflect off bouncing surfaces like the um, diffusion of a torch or car windows or headlights, and if it's close to the subject, it will make the subject look bigger. I will just find a little something and I'll put it up on the screen like here so you can see what I'm talking about because it might sound like nonsense. But if you look at how far away the camera is and the fact it looks like a bit of potato and also the fact like, you know, the lights affect on the cars that it chops off the front of the cars and it blurs everything and it makes this look like a fucking swan. It makes this look like a 200 foot penis. It's, it's just a person. Let, let's just be logical about things. If you want to say it's an alien, that's fine. Like I'm, I'm all with you. If you want to say it's an alien, if you were there 
and you've got a photo doing a selfie with the alien, because I'm guaranteeing you, right? I remember a story that um, a man hijacked a plane and some dude just went to have a chat with him, thought he was going to die, so he got a selfie with the hijacker. I don't know if anyone remembers that. Something, I think it was in Egypt, wasn't it? But it was just the guy didn't really have a B word. He was just trying to do something for his wife or something. But anyway, do I think it's an alien? Of course I don't think it's a bloody alien. <laughs> Why is it at the mall? Really? Alien was just a tall person. Uh, well, I said the tall part. The alien. No. <gasps> look, look, it's the thing from Stranger Things. No, it's a fucking shadow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to look at it a little bit. It's, it's, it. Come on, really. It's not. It's not Paul. Was that his name, Paul? Seth Rogen, the alien. <laughs> Was that him? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I did a really bad Seth Rogen impression. But that's my opinion. I just think it was a person. And science has shown how it can appear taller. Because, like, you know, when we look at things like this and we take into account all the light pollution that's aiming at that subject and a little bit of reflection and the shadows and how other things look in the picture and how distorted other things are and the fact it looks like the camera it was being filmed on was in the air on a helicopter. Let's all put two and two together. It may be an alien. I would love to be wrong. I would fucking love to be wrong. I would love an alien friend because I'm pretty sure they're the only people who wouldn't think I'm a bit fucking weird. And on that, I'm going to say on to you, be good to yourselves. And if you can't be good to yourselves, be good to everybody else. Because that, my friends, is what it means to be human. I bid you a job. <laughs>